Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound CSClO3. Now here's a trick, guys. If you have a compound that has three or more different elements, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's always easiest to identify the polyatomic ion and then work from there. But the hard part is that polyatomic ions, remember guys, they're never going to be found on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So for this example, I wrote down the polyatomic that we're going to see. But if you guys are on the playlist, you can go through all these videos and write down all the polyatomic ions that we use. Use flashcards, write it out, do whatever you got to do to memorize them because I promise you they're going to keep coming back. But ClO3 is always a negative one charge. This polyatomic ion is always called chlorate. So I can identify, oh, here it is. Here's ClO3. I know that polyatomic ion. That's chlorate. The only thing we have to address now is the cesium, the CS. And if I look on the periodic table where cesium is, it's right down here. It's in group one, and all of group ones are metals except for hydrogen. So cesium is a metal. Now we have everything accounted for, so we can start naming. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So CS, I'm just going to write cesium. The polyatomic comes next, and polyatomic ions, those names always stay the same. That's why you just got to memorize them. ClO3 is chlorate. So I'm just going to write chlorate. Now, since it's a ionic compound, we just have to make sure, do I need a Roman numeral in the middle or not? The Roman numerals come from transition metals. It's the metals that are in here. But since cesium is in group one, it's not part of the transition metals, so we're done. Easy as that, guys. So CSClO3 is cesium chlorate, and you are done. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope it helped. Let me know in the comments, and give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want. And if not, maybe I'll get you in future lessons, all right? Thank you so much, and I will see you all in next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.